don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? Our bodies are, aren't ours to just do what we want to do with it, whether it's to go out there, murder, kill, abortion, drugs, tattoos, and all those different things that people say, it's my body, I can do what I want with my body. It's not yours. Your body is the temple of the Most High, and since it's the temple of the Most High, its purpose is supposed to be used for holy reasons. When you look at the temple that the Most High had on this earth, it was set up as the place on the earth to go sacrifice, to learn the ways of the Lord, and to be righteous. And he's telling us that our bodies, while they're here on this earth, are for the same purpose. But ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Everything that the Lord makes has a certain purpose. For the plants, their purposes were and are our food and our medicine. No one's up here saying that marijuana is evil. No one says saying that the coca plant is evil. No one's saying that the poppy plant is evil. We're not. What we're saying is these things have a particular use and a particular purpose. And that purpose has to be adhered to according to the Mosai's word and his commandments. But what we as a people do, we take things out of their natural order and out of their natural use and then they become evil unto us. From darkness to light, the alchemist drug use throughout the ages. From the dawn of time, man has harnessed the extraordinary powers offered up by the earth in the form of plants and herbs without number. These treasures were created by God for the service of all man, providing food for his sustenance and remedies for his healing. Through a proper and balanced use of these plants and herbs, the physician was able to produce medicines, antidotes, and poultices that took away pain cured diseases, and prolonged life. But like so many gifts of God, even these would fall to corruption, and the very medicines which the Lord had created for our benefit had now become tools of evil. Practitioners of witchcraft, sorceries, and shamanic magic would use these alchemically altered medicines to heighten perceptions and shatter the barriers of our reality, all in an attempt to communicate with beings from beyond the mortal realm. Some were so forward in this wickedness that entire religious customs and practices were created around particular drugs. In modern time, some scholars have even gone so far as to suggest that mind-altering drugs may have influenced every major religious experience the world has ever known, including those of Moses and the Biblical Prophets. Join us today for another installment of From Darkness to Light as we give new meaning to the war on drugs by exposing the historical and present-day misuse of the Heavenly Father's great medicines of the earth.